das Eichhörnchen. Hey Rabbits, it's Trixie and I guess it's not news to you that many people claim that the German language seemed harsh. No wonder that there are many comedy videos and memes out there presenting aggressive sounding German words in comparison to the words for the same thing in other languages. I'm sure you have seen some of these. The turtle. La tortue. La tortuga. Schildkröte. Yeah. Ha ha ha, so funny. So Germans. They sound so mean even when they talk about turtles. To that I can only say nine 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 nine. Come on, Germans don't bark all words like that. But what if Heidi Klapp ich rede gerade? Most of us are rather calm and level-headed. I know, these videos are purposely exaggerated and I'm fine with that because it's funny. And to a certain extent, I even agree. German is not as round and melodious as, for example, English. But what I don't like is that it's presented as a bad thing. Who says that all words have to be soft and euphonious? In my opinion, the fact that German is edgy is nothing to be ashamed of. Actually, quite the opposite. Not despite its sharp sounds, but because of them. And that's what I want to prove to you today in this video. I'm gonna pick six of those super aggressive sounding German words. The ones that are often used to mock my beautiful native language in memes and videos. And I'm gonna tell you why they aren't harsh and ugly, but actually pretty awesome. Why they, out of all the other pleasant sounding words, are actually the best to describe what they mean. Let's start with die Überraschung, the surprise. And you know, just for fun, I'm going to imitate one of those silly videos. The surprise, la surprise, la sorpresa, die Überraschung. Okay, I agree, the word Überraschung doesn't sound very positive. But let's be honest, is it really that pleasant to be surprised? Sure, some surprises are great. A heartfelt gift, good news from people that you care about, a long lost friend suddenly stepping into your life again, or the partner you love finally proposing to you, unexpectedly finding an actual purpose in your life so that you can stop hurting other people. <laughs> but there's also the other kind of surprise. Hallo Sarah, hier ist deine Schwiegermutter. Überraschung, ich werde ab morgen drei Wochen zu euch zu Besuch kommen. That's definitely not a surprise, but an Überraschung. A surprise can be thrilling. Why do I write words into my scripts that I can't pronounce? Thrilling, 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 thrilling. You're getting a surprise saliva shower here right now. But many unexpected things are also pretty terrifying, at least at first. <laughs> Überraschung, Schatz. Ich bin schwanger. Mit Drillingen. Ach, und deine Mutter kommt uns besuchen. <laughs> so I think a word that doesn't sound all round and soft, but that has a bit of roughness to it as well, sums it up perfectly. Die Überraschung. Next up, this thing that you say to others when you accidentally bothered or hurt someone. Haha! Ha. No, I mean sorry. Pardon, pardon. Entschuldigung. There's a fly, I got distracted. Why on earth should the word for sorry be a nice and gentle one? If you truly want to apologize for something mean or stupid that you did, then it shouldn't be too damn easy. Sorry is way too short. None of the letters really force you to open your mouth. You can literally say it by doing nothing but moving your lower jaw from left to right. Sorry. Like a cow eating grass. But instead it should be heartfelt. It should be difficult to mumble it. The word should sound as harsh and unpleasant as what you did. Remember this thing that you need to apologize for. Otherwise, who tells me that you're taking the problem seriously? And if not, you run a high risk of repeating your mistakes over and over again. Pardon and pardon are a bit more like it. But they are still too short. Entschuldigung makes you reflect on your wrongdoing over four syllables. And even shortening it to Entschuldigung is not much of an improvement. German words are so long, they make you suffer when you deserve to suffer. Yeah, words. Next, the squirrel. L'écureuil. La dia. Mm, das Eichhörnchen. 
First of all, forgive me, French people, but le cruille is not much better than Eichhörnchen. Ooh, regarde, c'est mignon, une cruille. That sounds like you are choking on something. Hopefully, not in a cruille itself. That's how you make other people respect your native language by shitting on theirs. Proud of you. Well, Entschuldigung! Anyway, I know what you may be thinking. Surprises and apologies may be uncomfortable. But squirrels? Trixie, squirrels are the cutest thing on this entire planet! And you know what? That's the freaking problem right there! Squirrels are so cute! We have to have an ugly word for them. Think about it. If squirrels had a nicer name, everybody saying it would have to punch a concrete wall for five hours straight afterwards. We would waste so much time doing that. I'm pretty sure it would be the downfall of humanity and squirrels would take over the world. Which is our inevitable fate anyway, right? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch Rick and Morty. But to at least delay the end of human supremacy, the word for a squirrel better resembles punching a concrete wall. The German language saves us from a cuteness overload no one could handle. I gotcha. Okay, how do I make a transition from squirrels to speed limits without mentioning roadkill? Just mention it. I like roadkill. But I cannot call my viewers rabbits and then mention dead rodents. I don't want them to feel sad or depressed because I, whenever I see a dead rodent and the sound of a roar, then I get so super sad. I just wanted to cross the road with its skinny feet in the tiny nose. Wow, I wish there was a speed limit for you talking. Speed limit? What a coincidence you say that, because the next word is the speed limit. La limitation de vitesse. La limite de velocidad. Die Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung. Admittedly, Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung is a sharp-sounding, complicated and ridiculously long word. But first of all, you can also say tempo limit. Much easier, right? Secondly, because it's so weird and edgy, Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung is one of the most famous German words. Germans themselves joke about it, non-Germans laugh and talk about it when they hear it for the first time. And what's the result of that? We have speed limits in mind. Speeding is dangerous and therefore speed limits are important. And since Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung is a word with so much personality, it burns into your brain. Whenever you drive, you think of Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung. And hopefully, you know, maybe, you drive more careful because of that. The pollution. La pollution. La contamination. Die Umweltverschmutzung. Come on, seriously? Pollution is a horrible thing. Why should the word for it be nice and soft and roll off your tongue easily? You're talking about littering, soil contamination, oil spills, global warming, not ice cream and stuffed animals. The word for pollution should sound as threatening as pollution is to our world. The German language does not hide a delicate topic behind a cryptic Latin word. Umweltverschmutzung literally means environment dirtification in your face because that's what it is pollution seriously great choice pollution is a huge problem and it shouldn't rhyme with solution when we're far away from finding one wow that was deep <laughs> that's what he said <sighs> last but not least the lightning la foudre el rayo der blitz <sighs> question do you think that it feels like hugging 200 extremely fluffy puppies when you're hit by lightning. Of course not! Then why would you want a soft and cuddly word for it? Foudre, rayon, and lightning? It's not just light, you know? It's a freaking beam of electricity coming from the sky and randomly roasting something. Also, lightning sounds like you are enlightened. Yeah, about the fact that getting hit by lightning hurts like crazy. So if it has to be a word ending in ing, it should be electrocuting or roasting. But still, blitz is perfect. It's short and sharp and it strikes like lightning. German language, you're not ugly, you're not aggressive or harsh. You simply win. Okay, Robert, so what do you think? Was I able to convince you that these supposedly aggressive sounding German words are actually badass awesome? Or do you still say, yeah, German language is a bit too harsh for me. I prefer my words soft because, you know, but I'm, I'm, I'm a coward. I, I live my life like that. Everything has to be soft and boring. Not, not gonna change my mind. Mm -mm. What other German words do you know that others often mock for being too aggressive, but that you actually like a lot? Post them here and tell me what you think in the comments. Now, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up because that would make me really, really happy. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and 
Robin here. It's another video that you should definitely check out. Subscribe to Don't Trust the Rabbit for more videos like this one and if you want to support my channel even a bit more then you can also find me on Patreon. I would really appreciate your help. Now I wish you all a beautiful day and I hope to see you in the next video!